hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy back here again and if you're new on this channel please kindly subscribe like and comment and do not forget to turn on your post notifications so you can see my next videos whenever i post them so yeah but first of all i want to thank some of my subscribers that have been reaching out to me and asking where am i why have i not been posting but yeah i am now i'm back here to give you guys the great content i usually give to you guys so yeah thank you for reaching out to me i really appreciate you guys reaching out to me but yeah i'm back now so on this episode i'll be giving you guys two topic of what is currently trending on social media platforms such as twitter and instagram so on the first topic i'll be talking about boner boy so boner boy the african giant aka odogu damini just performed at the champions league final which happened like few hours ago like Maybe at the point of while I was recording this video, it happens like maybe three hours ago. So, Bonaboy is trending on Twitter, it's trending on Instagram. Like, everybody's talking about Bonaboy. If you were able to watch um, the live performance, because um, I think the Champions League, they, 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 they streamed it live on TV, because obviously it's a live, it's a, it's a Champions, is a, it's a final. So, obviously, they're going to stream it on TV. And... If you're unable to watch it on TV, they also streamed it on YouTube. So I personally, I, I saw it on YouTube and with what I saw, like Bonaboy, Bonaboy key the performance, like Odogu can never disappoint. Like, you know, whenever it's come to performance, like, you know, Bonaboy is, is going to kill anything, any stage in this world. So shout out to Bonaboy, but I would like to show you guys the performance in case for some of you guys have not seen the performance so i'll be showing you the clip of what bonaboy did because he he he, he did madness he just like madness like odogu odogu killed the stage so let me not talk too much because i'm really excited to show you guys because you guys are about to see greatness because bonaboy just made history as the first ever african to perform on that stage so let me not talk too much i will show you the video Let's get to the video now. Hey guys, I'm so sorry the video is short and doesn't have a sound. Due to copyright, I had to re-edit the video because I posted it already on YouTube or YouTube had to put my video down. So yeah, I'm so sorry it has no sound, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. So that's the video now, guys. Have you guys seen that Bonner Boy did magic? Like Odogu did not, it did not disappoint. Like, can you see? Can you see how he, he performed? Like starting with last last now everybody go to breakfast shy and came in again with it's plenty uh, like it's it's really it's really dope like shout out to shout out to the to to the outsiders because bona boy the name of his band are called the outsiders like look at look at they, they represented africa so well that they represented nigeria so well like look at you can you can see that that is like that is a nigerian sound like african sound like shout out to bonaboy bonaboy is on his own league like that guy is he's doing he's just doing the most right now like nobody comes close to bonaboy like no african artists right now come close to bonaboy like the gap he has given everybody is is too long like the gap is too long shout out to bonaboy you should keep you should keep making us proud you should keep making africa proud because yeah like can you see the transition of last last to his plenty like i was just screaming when i was watching the watching the um the performance live like before i just showed to you guys now like when he first performed on when i saw it live like because i was i saw it live i was just shouting like bonaboy give is he's, he's showing the world how it is done like it's showing them that we Africans we have something to offer, like because the music has changed the narrative, like it has changed the narrative for how they perceive the world perceived Nigeria and how the world perceived Africans. So thank thank God to music, like music has really really changed everything. And Bonaboy is not just the only ambassador doing the most; it's just that Bonaboy is currently doing the most than any other African ambassadors. Like I mean, the musicians. So we have davido we have whiskey we have rima we have a lot of african artists especially most especially nigerian artists because nigerian artists are the ones doing the most for africans so 
shout out to Bonner Boy, shout out to his team. Congratulations to Bonner Boy. I wish I wish him more heights. And this is just the beginning. The world ain't ready for what is coming because we Africans, Nigerians, we are taking the world by storm and they are not ready for what is coming. So that's 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 the news about Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy is currently trending everywhere on, on the social media platform. So congratulations to Bonner Boy and yeah. It's always, it's always, it's always uh, representing us so very well. So, shout out to Bonaboy. Thank you so much, Bonaboy. So, on the second topic, um, I'll be talking about Davido. So, but it's not just Davido that is going to be in the conversation that I'm about to have. So, if you're on social media on Thursday, um, that was like two days ago at the point of while I was recording this video, Davido was trending on on online even till today he's still trending and why is it so davido said some stuff that he was not supposed to say I, he disrespected Bonner boy in in a, in a video where like i think he granted an interview so and in the interview he's he said some stuff that i was not supposed to say but i'm going to be showing you guys the video and i would like to know your thoughts about what davido said in the video if he disrespected Bonaboy or not, but personally to me, I feel like he disrespected Bonaboy because the way he categorized Bonaboy was not supposed to be like that. So, but I shouldn't talk too much. Let me show you guys the video so you can see for yourself what the video did wrong in the video. So, let's get to the video. Everybody knows now. I was one of the first me and Whiskey blowed up. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it feels good. You know what I'm saying? Seeing that then. Feels good also seeing the new cats coming up. You know, so like Burner Boy, Rema, Fireboy, um, Mayo Kuhn. You know, a lot of new cats coming, killing it. Ashake, that's on my album. Um, so, yeah, so like, I think the future in Afro is in good hands. So, now can you guys see where the video made a mistake? Like, so the video was, um, I think he was asked. I don't know the question he was being asked. The only stuff we saw was him answering the question. So he said him and Whiskey has been the one holding it down for a long time. Him and Whiskey was the first person that went global. But he's so happy that seeing the new cats, which is Bonner Boy, Rema, Fireboy, Ashake, Miyoko, and the rest of the people he mentioned. And when the video came online, Everybody, except his, his, um, his, his fans, were like, why will Davido be categorizing Bonaboy as a new cat? Like, it doesn't make any sense because you and Bonaboy started together same year. Like, even in fact, before David even dropped his first single, Bonaboy was the first person to, 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 to have a song with him in 2011. In Bonaboy's one of his mistakes he dropped as at that time. And um, I saw, I saw like because on Twitter that was where I saw all the all the all the gist. And so I was, not, and even before even before I saw the gist about um, Davido, um, Bonaboy was one of the first person to feature with Davido back then in 2011. Like I know the song, so I was like, why would Davido categorize Bonaboy as a new cat? Like new cat means a new artist. And Bonaboy came into the limelight in 2012 in the Nigerian music scene. And the first single he dropped was Like to Party. And as at that time, Like to Party was a banger. Like it was a hit track. To be, to be fair enough, um, Davido and Whiskey was more famous than Bonaboy as at that time. Not um, up until like maybe 2018 when Bonaboy dropped Ye. So that was when Bonaboy went global because Bonaboy was really underrated in Nigeria. So. I can I, I can accept some part of what he said, but in categorizing Bonaboy in the same with Rima and Fireboy and the rest is a big disrespect. Like he was not supposed to say that because Bonaboy is not a is not a new cat. Like he has been in the industry for a long time. Like because even if Davido and Bonner and Whiskey was bigger than Bonaboy that time, these guys are still in the same set and. Bonaboy was also famous. Like everybody knows Bonaboy. Like, is it from like to party, from tonight, Yawa Day, 
uh, one that more. Like a lot of a lot of songs, check and balance. Even before 2018, Bonaboy has been has been doing so massively in 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 Africa. It's just that a lot of Nigerians did not appreciate him because Nigerians a lot of Nigerians don't like Bonaboy. I don't know why, but that's their problem. So those people agreeing with Davido are mostly Davido fans and. Or like I just said, that they are they are living in denial because why will you think Bonaboy is a newcomer? Like this guy has been in the game for over twelve years, just like you, just like Davido on whiskey. So it's it's really a big disrespect for Davido to categorize Bonaboy as a new cat. And you know the funny thing is that a lot of people were thinking Bonaboy was going to respond, but Bonaboy has he, don't, he didn't even say anything about it at all he did not respond because usually everybody expects Bonaboy is going to come out and insult the video but he didn't he didn't even insult a lot of people a lot of a lot of um nigerians were insulting the video that what he did was wrong especially Bonaboy's fans which are called the outsiders they insulted the video's life so they said he did that on purpose just because he wants to promote his album is this is that like and to be fair you can also think that too because Davido is not supposed to categorize Bonaboy as a new cat. It does not make no sense. Like, I don't, you watching this, I don't know how you're going to take it, but what Davido said there to me and to a lot of people, it does not make sense. Or, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, it's only someone that lives in denial or someone that is gullible that's going to say that. Bonaboy is a new cat because he went to global in 2018. Do you want to tell me that when before before Bonaboy dropped Ye yeah, Ye yeah, You, yeah, you don't know Bonaboy songs. You didn't you didn't vibe to you didn't vibe to um Yawadio. I remember back then when Bonaboy dropped Yawadio because this there was one car Bonaboy used to wear that time. It's um Bucket Art. But Bonaboy was one of the artists that made Bucket Art famous that time. It was the influence was even crazy that whenever you want to go to the to, to a store to buy the bucket art, you won't even tell them you want to buy bucket art. You're going to tell them that you want to buy Bonaboy cap, and immediately when you say I want to buy Bonaboy cap, they are going to bring the bucket art out. And there was even some time that Bonaboy used to wear like a long socks, like everybody was doing that. Like, so I don't understand how Bonaboy was a new cat. Like, how would the video categorize Bonaboy as a new cat? All those times back then in Lagos, like all these street carnivals, like when they're going to be playing, but that was scattered everywhere. So it's just that at, as at that time, Davido and Whiskey were at the top, and Bonaboy was the reason why Bonaboy was not at the top that time was because number one, he was underrated. The industry players were all against him, so there is not even there is no way he can even be able to overshadow Whiskey and Davido that time. And I, again, I also saw some 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 news again on on Twitter about that stuff that. Bonaboy wasn't really giving a lot of airtime. They don't really play songs like that. So Davido and Bonaboy was uh, Davido and Whiskey was the one at the top. And I can testify it because Davido and Whiskey actually did so well. They were the first person to win global. That was 100 percent But it doesn't change the fact that Bonaboy and Davido and Whiskey all are the same set. It's just like, for example, now let's imagine um techno or maybe you own town. You are watching me right now. Now you you know everybody knows once everybody knows techno, but right now Bronta and techno are not known globally. So let's imagine maybe tomorrow or in five months from now or one year from now, let's imagine techno now drop one global song that's going to become so famous. Will you call? Will will will, will you? Will, are we going to say techno or Bronta are also new cats because maybe they they are, they, they just have a global song five months from now so are you going to tell me now right now because techno is not popping run town is not popping but we still know them we still listen to their songs like once in a while like whenever they drop some songs like everybody some people still they still have their audience their dedicated audience and listen to them so let's imagine now they now go global all of a sudden just like what happened to Bonaboy in 2018 are we going to categorize those guys as a new cat so we just need to we just need to think about some things sometimes that some, some what davido said was wrong or even if maybe he said it mistakenly maybe 
it was the way we, the, the the social media bloggers made us read it but the coco is that the video said what it said and the fact that bonaboy was the first person he even mentioned after saying new cats it looked as if he said it on purpose so and he didn't sit well with a lot of people and he, he didn't also sit well with me because i was like why will you call bonaboy a new cat she understand but a lot of people are saying it's jealousy that the video is jealousy and he's also trying to promote his album blah 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 this and that and also the next day that was on friday davido's cousin who is b red he also came out and said uh back then in uh, the first time they met Bonaboy boy in in, in 2010 or 2011 they went to portacourt they met Bonaboy in portacourt that Bonaboy was running after their car saying running after their car and chasing him and davido and saying i love you i love you i'm a big fan i'm a big fan but a lot of people are saying how will Bonaboy be running after um the video and is and be where because is Bonaboy a gala seller that is going to be running after you because there are some with this there are some uh tweets that we've seen online that in 2011 the video was the one even telling sending a message to Bonaboy that uh hey Bonaboy I'm a big fan drop your pin because as at that time in 2011 it was Blackberry that was raining so and the only way you can communicate to someone on Blackberry is is that you have to pin them so you have to drop a pin so and with those those conversations on twitter in 2011 what does b red mean that bonaboy was chasing after them like that one has also received his own bashing like what he bash here so i'm just i'm just i'm just i just don't understand this this agenda is it like they are doing that on purpose or i don't understand like are they trying to promote the videos album because personally, if they are actually doing that to promote the video's album for controversies, I feel like the video and his team members are failed. Because number one, Bonaboy did not even respond to them. Apart from them looking so bad, and also Bonaboy did not respond to them. So they failed. What their, what their plans did not work. Like, why will you try to want to be? To be saying some things that are not are not supposed to be said because of controversies because you also promote your album that is what everyone is saying i'm not the one saying it you understand so but anyways i just i just hope uh everything is going to be is going to be set to like the video is not supposed to be hating but you guys are brothers fam you guys are you guys are you guys are brothers so i don't i don't understand though Especially what that big head is saying that Bonaboy was running after them. Is Bonaboy a gala seller? Fireboy, Oxley. Before all you know? these boys are mentioning, Facts. what were they looking up to me before they blew? Yes. Bonaboy, before, the first day I met Bonaboy was in Porta Court. He was running after me and David's car. Oh my God, I love you, Bidu. I love you, David. Oh. Who? So like, Bonaboy? Yeah. So, bro. And with all the tweets we've seen. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's that was that was what happened on Thursday and on Friday because but Beard that one they insulted his life because Beard is not even relevant. They insulted his career that you will you know even get career. He doesn't have a career and you're coming here to come and be saying nonsense about Bonaboy. Like the guy, I don't even know what to say about that Beard, but that is his problem. But Davido disrespected Bonaboy so badly, which I totally condemn. Bonaboy is not a new cat, and you categorizing Dreamer and um, Fireboy in the same category with Bonaboy is also a disrespect. Even I'm sure Rema and Fireboy are not going to be happy about that because they look up to Bona. Imagine people that look up to you, and some other artists such as David Doe is not comparing you guys in the same cal in the same set. Like it doesn't make sense. This Rema and Fireboy looks up to Bona. They look up to Bonner like most of these young artists right now, even people that are not even young artists, they all look up to Bonner because who else do you want to look up to right now? Bonner boy is doing the most, like he's doing the most. So David should just just reduce the way he speaks because since he came back online, since after he lost his child and since he dropped his album, David has granted a lot of interviews and I noticed that that guy have been saying too much. Because I don't, if you remember, there was a video I dropped. I was saying that 
Davido has been talking too much in an interview. So now Missy and you go Missy and like this for this interview and it clash and it's it's eating hard. So you just need to be careful about what he says in the interview because you know he's a he's a famous guy, so whatever he says is going to be it's going to it's going to it's going to like make a problem for him. So anyways guys that's 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 the news that's the news Bonner boy performed at um champions league final being the first african to perform at the at the at the, at the, at the champions league final david has also performed at the world cup but david was not the first african to perform at the world cup so and that was last year so Bonner boy is the man of the moment he performed at the champions league final and he shot it down like proper shot down According to the video I showed you guys, you guys also can can testify that Bonner Boy shut it down. So, anyways, guys, if you enjoy what I just shared to you, please kindly subscribe, like, and comment, and do not forget to turn on your post notifications so you can see my next videos whenever I post them. And to my subscribers that reach out to me, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys reaching out to me, and I'm back now and yeah i'm going to be giving you guys content back to back back to back so thank you for watching and yeah i'm out of here